trust we are all doing well. In this week's devotion, we are looking at the topic, Relay. And the scripture I would love to read is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. And it reads, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Here we see the writer of Hebrews saying that we are all in a race, and in this race we must run with endurance. Endurance simply means to never give up or quit. But he says that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. And who are these great cloud of witnesses? They are the people who have gone before us, who please God by choosing faith and relying on God's help to live out that faith well. And here we see the writer of Hebrews outline two things that hinders us from being able to run our race effectively, and they are weight and sin. I don't want to focus so much on sin, but the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13, that what sin does is that it hardens our heart towards God and, 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 and prevents us from experiencing God's best in our life. But the one I want to focus on is weight. And what weight does is that it slows us down. It causes us to stumble. It presses us down. It hinders us from being able to run effectively the race that has been set before us. There's a reason that runners wear lighter clothes when they run. It enhances their performance. It enhances their comfort and also prevent injuries. And in this journey that we are on, in this race the Lord has set before us, for us to be able to run this race effectively, we have to put aside certain weight. These weights are things that causes us to stumble. They are things that weighs us down, that slows us, that prevents us from being able to run effectively. And in, 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 chapter, in verse 2, we see the writer say here that the way we can do this is to focus on Jesus. You know, Jesus is a perfect example of one who began his race and also ended his race. And he kept his eyes on his goal. He didn't lose sight of the goal which was us and the only way we can also be able to run this race is to keep our eyes on the goal keep our eyes on jesus who is an example and to learn from how he was able to accomplish it what are the weights that are weighing you down and preventing you from running the race that is set before you and as i end i would love to quote this scripture in first corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 it reads do you not know that those who run in a race all run but one receives the prize. Run in such a way that you may obtain it. Run in such a way that you may obtain your prize. You are highly favored and deeply loved of God.